Today, we'll uh, hear from citizens who are thriving as a result of our efforts to put America workers first. We're joined by wonderful union members and workers at the great American steel and iron mining companies. I've been in this industry for 42 years, and I just want to thank you on behalf of my uh, fellow workers for your administration's uh, tariff sign of steel. When you first heard about your ideas of tariffs and fair trade, I knew that was going to bring stability to our main industry. We in northeastern Minnesota were sick and tired of the bureaucrats telling us what we can do with the lands that we cherish. I think the reduction in regulations are as big a factor in the country's success as anything that we've done, including the tax cuts. With regulation, uh, we thank you for reducing them and giving us a chance to, to do our job. This administration, under President Trump and this Congress, went in there and repealed those, many of those executive branch rules. That, that's repealing about $3.7 billion of rules and regulations that were hampering energy and mining and manufacturing in Minnesota. They're seeing the difference that you're making. Our town has potentially two mines, additional mines. We have a lot to gain and we have even more to lose if this doesn't happen. And we want to see our town continue to thrive to what it was once and even better. With steel and aluminum, you can't lose these industries. We need these industries. And I, I can't thank you enough for um, the Section 232 right. and the steel tariffs. We have definitely seen an increase in our overall productivity and um, we've had a lot of employees called back, not only in our iron mines, but also in our steel making facilities. And that has really been a, a real benefit to this area.